Hey, what's going on, you guys? You know who I am. This is week 15 of the NFL 2011 season. Hey, let's get it on. We got Thursday Night Football, the Jacksonville Jaguars at the Atlanta Falcons. I'm going to go with the Falcons to beat this one because right now the Falcons are fighting for seeds in the NFC playoffs. Jacksonville just playing for pride right now. Atlanta gets the win at home against Jacksonville. Saturday Night Football, the first of the season, we got the Dallas Cowboys at the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Dallas losing three points to the Giants. I think they should get this win against the Buccaneers in Tampa Bay because right now Tampa Bay is in a funk. Rashi Morris coaching job is on the line once again. I don't think he'll be back next season either for the Bucks. So I think Dallas will get it done on the road against Tampa Bay. Sunday afternoon games, we got the Cincinnati Bengals at the St. Louis Rams. Rams are so pathetic right now. Andy Dalton Company should have no problem in beating them on the road at St. Louis. Bengals should win. The Tennessee Titans at the Indianapolis Colts. Winless Indianapolis Colts will continue to be winless. Tennessee will not be without their quarterback, Matt Hasselback. I still think they'll get the job done and they will beat the Colts on the road. Miami Dolphins at the Buffalo Bills. Bills are just pff, one loss away from being possibly eliminated from the playoffs, period. After going 5-0, and they've just been going downhill since. Miami losing to the Eagles last week. And they have a new head. They have a new interim head coach right now because their former coach got fired. So I think the Bills at home should get the win over the Dolphins. The Seattle Seahawks are at the Chicago Bears. Bears have lost two games in a row. <sighs> Meanwhile, Seattle has won two games in a row. But I do expect that the Marshawn Lynch and company on the road to get the job done in Chicago. And beat the Bears. The New Orleans Saints are playing at the Minnesota Vikings. Christian Ponder playing against the Saints for the first time in his career. I'm going to pretty much say that the Saints are going to get the job done on the road against the Vikings. Because they're just too powerful right now. And the Vikings, I pretty much is going to say they're trying to play for pride as well. And take that one away from the Saints. Saints shouldn't have no problem against Minnesota. The Washington Redskins and the New York Giants get it on at the MetLife Stadium. NFC East rivals. Redskins, hmm, a tough season. The Giants have a one-game lead behind the Cowboys. Should they win, they'll go up two up and could be one step away from clinching the NFC East for the first time in almost four years. But I think the Redskins are going to give them a run for the money, but the G-Man will get the job done at home against the Redskins. The Green Bay Packers are at the Kansas City Chiefs. Green Bay undefeated. I expect them to go 14-0 over the Chiefs. Meanwhile, Todd Haley, the Chiefs coach, has been fired. Roman Cornell, who was the former defensive coordinator, is the interim coach for the remainder of the season. It's not going to help their cause. Green Bay still go undefeated at Kansas City. Carolina Panthers at the Houston Texans. I think Cam Newton and company is going to give the Houston Texans a run for their money, but I'm going to go out on a limb and go with the Texans to beat the Panthers at home. We got our late Sunday games, the Detroit Lions at the Oakland Raiders. Lions back on the win track. Raiders have lost back-to-back -back games. Should be a tight game. At home against the Raiders, but I think the Lions will pull this one out in Oakland. The New England Patriots at the Denver Broncos. I have to say, Denver, Tebow and company, they're getting it done. They've won six straight games, five on the road. New England may challenge that Tom Brady and Grotowski, whatever his name is, who just had the single season record for a tight end. And... It's going to be a tough game, but I'm going to go with Tim Tebow and the Broncos to squeak one past the Patriots at Mile High Stadium. The New York Jets are at the Philadelphia Eagles. Eagles have just dominated this team of the New York Jets. 
I think they could get the job done again against the New York Jets. They need to win to keep their playoff hopes alive. They have to win three on out and some help with the Giants and Cowboys. The Eagles will get in at 8-8. Eight and eight. But they got to get the job done first against the Jets, which I think they will. It probably will go down as a field goal. Let's hope Eagles over the Jets. The Cleveland Browns at the Arizona Cardinals. Browns. Not a great team right now. Colt McCoy is not even going to play. He's out with a concussion. And the Cleveland Browns is going to be penalized, possibly be fine, because they did not diagnose Colt McCoy's concussion correctly during their loss to the Steelers. Also, his dad was saying the very next day he didn't look like himself, and he was saying that he didn't know who he really was. So... Cleveland's in a bit of trouble right now, and I think they even want to have more trouble against the Cardinals and John Skelton. Cardinals should get it done at home for third time against the Browns. The Baltimore Ravens are at the San Diego Chargers on Sunday Night Football. Ravens looking pretty good, but Phillip Rivers and company have won back-to-back -back games, and I think this is going to be a shootout in San Diego. I have the Chargers to beat the Ravens in San Diego. And on Monday Night Football is the Pittsburgh Steelers at the San Francisco 49. Ben Robinsberger versus Alex Smith and 49ers. Frank Gore and company is going to be a battle. I'm going to go by a squeaker Steelers to pull out a win against the 49ers on the road. So those are my picks for week 15. What are yours? Submit your picks at the bottom. Post your comments also right there at the bottom of the page. A great week for me. Indeed, 12 and 4 the previous week. This week we went 13 and 3. Let's hope we get another one like week 14 again in week 15. I'm Real 2G. Thanks again for coming out. We'll see you back here next week. The hair will be cut off. The beard will be trimmed. I'll be looking myself again. So catch you next week. Enjoy the games. Have a great week, and we'll see you back here next week. Peace.